When we former Haywisher and Self Scholarship winners first started to discuss the idea for this session, we often discussed the importance of mentoring as well as a support system and a family tree. Throughout my own life and academic career, I have had mentors who have recognized the value and what I can contribute as a deaf woman who communicates through American Sign Language and English. So let's continue this idea of a family tree. And I'll begin first with my roots. In some cases, when a deaf child is born to hearing parents and that hearing family does not learn sign language, that can lead to language deprivation as well as barriers to communication for the child. However, in my case, I was born to hearing family with a brother who was four years older than I. His name is Greg. When my parents first found out that I was deaf, they immediately started to learn sign language. And at the same time, they started to instruct me sign language as well as my brother. So this video you see here comes from a very old video of us. And this is just one moment in the video where my brother Greg is reading a picture storybook and he is describing and signing everything simultaneously what he sees in the book. So in this moment here, he sees a swing on a tree. So he turns to me and says, this is a swing in a tree, just like Greg and Janine at grandpa's house in the tree. So at that moment, you can see I copy his sign, tree. I don't know why I did that, but I matched his sign as we remembered that tree at our grandfather's house in the yard. So I wanted to take this moment to share with you all because I really wanted to emphasize the importance of academic family tree as well as the support system in the academic community where minorities can often be the only one or one of a few like their, themselves in the community. Just like my brother learned sign language to be able to communicate with me, we also can likewise recognize the value of what different people can bring to our community. I was the only deaf person in my undergrad program, my master's program, and my PhD program. And I've had mentors who have recognized my role in the academic field. Michelle Ebley at East Carolina University, sitting here with us, was my sponsor for this award when I first won in 2014. And she has always been a tremendous support of my role and of my work. This is my fourth year presenting at Computers and Writing. And every year, I share my experiences as a deaf instructor communicating through American Sign Language and English in my presentations. I may be the only deaf person here in this room tonight. However, I am not the only minority represented. I'm not the only one with a multicultural or multilingual background. I want all of us to think about how we can continue to promote and encourage more minorities as well as multilingualism in our studies and in our scholarship and in our field in general. I include myself in that term, we, because as I transfer to my new role as assistant professor, if you don't this image comes from my graduation from East Carolina University just four weeks ago on this date. So in this image, I am dressed in my regalia for graduation along with my mentor and my dissertation chair, Tracy Ann Morse. And right after she hooded me, we posed together for the photograph and we put up this sign for I love you because we both know sign language and we both were part of deaf culture. So this image is our moment together. So to me, this moment captures and conveys the inclusive nature of studies. That English is not the only language that we can speak. We can continue to 
assimilate different identities, different backgrounds, different languages in our collective family tree. Thank you.